Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel guys. So I hope everything is fine on your side and I hope you're good. Alright, uh, so today is part 2 of our floating stairs and uh, look at part 1, look at how beautiful our floating stairs is, alright. So we are going to be making, um, you know, check this reference image out that I have received. We are going to be making this inside Revit today and we are also going to be making this a wall mounted handrail, alright. So it's going to be a fun project. Let's quickly get started. And you know the workflow is exactly the same as this one, right? So I believe this video is nothing hard, nothing special. And uh, so let's uh, quickly get started. First of all, let's press U and change this to millimeters. That's already in millimeters. Fine. Then we'll be using the roof by extrusion. But first, we need a reference stairs. Okay, same like before. So the levels two are level um, two and uh, level zero. Fine. And the width. Let's set it to three hundred. Uh, perfect okay rest everything's fine right and uh, um, okay what else what else and uh, uh, let's go to edit for a while and uh, um, hmm, nah. okay I think everything uh, and the thickness is 100 okay so these are the points that we'd have to remember and uh, then one and uh, the width it's commercial one so let's give it a three meters one and the width is 300 um, paste perfect um, done <laughs> excuse me I'm coughing again, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me for my throat. Okay, once that once that is done, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, once that is done, so now first of all, let's uh, delete the rails, okay? And uh, this is our reference plane. And let's press front. So inst uh, after that, let's zoom in and let's get to the right position or desired position. And uh, let's simply come right here and uh, right click and set current view to home view. It means wherever you are in your 3D space, the only thing you have to do is press home button on your laptop. And you are going to be here, right? So another problem solved. And uh, now let's quickly go to roof and extrusion, roof by extrusion, pick a plane. Let's pick up the first plane. Okay. Let's go to show. So very easy, right? Nothing hard after that. This is our previous one. Let's go to edit type uh, number two. Yes, number two. And uh, let's go to edit. So do you guys remember the material was kind of white, right? So W H I T E. Uh, anything white, anything nice, and anything white. Um, um, this one. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's let's try it. If we don't like it, we'll change it in the end. And uh, come on, come on, um, come on, guys. Um, this is the what is this? Okay, gypsum wallboard. Uh, use rendered appearance. Uh, fine. Double click on that. Okay. Okay, so now we are ready for drawing. Now let's press home button on our keyboard. And uh, do you guys remember it's gonna extrude downwards, all right? So we we pick up the downstairs. I mean the above point of, the, of our downstairs, and this is the top of our slab. So no, very easy, nothing hard. After that, mm, we click on that, and uh, this is the top of our slab. Perfect. After that, we click on fillet, and I think a 100 mm fillet is fine for that. So one and two, two. Okay, perfect. And a one and two, perfect. Uh, okay, and check this out, guys. So our first stair is already complete. And you guys remember that the width of our <coughs> of our thread was 300, right? So in this case, uh, let's give it a width of minus 300. And check this out. Perfect. So this is our first stairs already made. Very easy workflow. Nothing hard. And it is connected on the top of, of our slab. So um, I mean, if you are in point, right? Um, after that, let's press home button again. Let's go to architectural. And you know, I'm going to skip this body because it's the same. So pick a plane. Uh, I mean, from this point on, it's just repetitions. Okay. And if we go to show, fine. It is showing. We go to home again. We go to. Uh, we pick the top point of our second one. <coughs> excuse me that is picked now we press on that we click on that and uh, um, perfect okay we have pasted it and uh, the same case is gonna be for this so top of the slab okay this is the top of the slab and fillet how can we forget the fillet so the fillet is gonna be 100 mm so one and two perfect and the perfect perfect one and two perfect and okay and check this out so our second stair is also complete and the width of this is again going to be minus 300 uh, fine all right even the second one is complete right so it's repetition doing these steps again and again right so i'm going to skip this part and we are going to be back once we're done so guys check this out <laughs> i mean uh, you know i think i paused the video for like 15 minutes 20 minutes and uh, this is our final stairs right so it was nothing i mean nothing special it was the same points being repeated again and again just going to the home view and the roof by extrusion setting the plane and we are in the final one i gave it a fillet we press ok and we give it an extrusion of minus 300 here you go and our flowing staircase is complete and look at how nice and beautiful it looks after that let's quickly go to that let's go to edit let's go to our top view let's go to rectangle 
and uh, this is our staircase right and uh, let's try to what I zoomed in so much and uh, zoom out okay this is it and uh, let's try to quickly make this okay one and uh, two right here and uh, okay so check this out so we have made our opening right all right so once that is done guys now another very important and uh, you know in fact a very unique thing i haven't seen uh, you um, you know there are very few videos on this right so it's the the sloped railway so how do you make a sloped railway inside revit without host this is not stairs these are roofs so they cannot be set as a host so you're going to learn so many different things today and uh, you know how do you do that there's a process for that right so uh, the first level is level zero let's go to level zero and uh, we go for railings and uh, let's first of all so we are in the in the down level all right let's make our first railing this is going to be our first point then let's go to the above one and uh, the above one is going to be uh, it can be a simple a small line all right and then we try to connect this so the small line is in the above level uh, which is level zero and uh, the uh, the bottom line is the level zero zero line and we bring this to this point so now how do you make a sloped railway from this it is these settings right this is where the magic is going to happen and we have to give it a height correction for example of 2500 because the center to i mean the floor to floor height is 3048 right so and this is uh, the slope has to be by slopes and this one the slope has to be by sloped and if you press ok and if you go to the wall rail the ones that we previously made and uh, let's go to a 3d view to check this out let's close all inactive views and check this out guys so we are complete and look at how beautiful this is so this is something very unique and uh, you know i'm very sure that there are so few people who know about this these are the sloped railways um uh, you know without a host all right there's no host in this guys these are roof by extrusions they are not stairs so this is without a host and now how do you uh, for example if you check out a reference image uh, you know this is going to take more time i think i'm going to end my video but uh, you know now you can fix this for example these are the settings right so um, we do not want the end extension okay but fine okay let's keep the end extensions but this right here this has to be 1000 okay so look at that they decreased and uh, the final rail uh, okay let's kind of uh, or you want them um let's keep the beginning one okay so let's keep the beginning one and the entrance will remove so okay and check this out guys so look at how beautiful our slope trailing is and uh, you know if you want to further fix this we can go to edit path we can go on the top we can go to the top and uh, it can be fixed so uh, simply you know make it smaller or just spend more time on it right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned um, something from it and uh, do share and subscribe right and uh, now simply let's go to mirror let's try to find the middle this is the middle because that triangle appeared and check this out so this is our beautiful flowing rails with the sloped uh, wall rail right so take care of yourself uh, have a good day and uh, do share and subscribe right take care and bye bye